Hi, I'm Roger K. Young from Total Solar Super Green and with my good friend, grandson, Eli. Say hi, Eli. Can you say hi? <laughs> there we go. Anyway, now let me ask you a question. What would you do to protect your family from deadly diseases that are floating around the air? Things like MRSA, um, Ebola, swine flu, uh, staph infection, salmonella, you know, uh, the, there's a new children respiratory illness that uh, is going around and paralyzing children all over the country. So what would you kind of would do about those kind of things? What price would you pay to help protect your family? How about protecting them from uh, pollution, like methane gas, uh, radon gas, um, formaldehyde, poisons and chemicals that are just floating around, smoke, uh, any of those kind of things. Now, now, how about allergies? What would you do to help protect your family from allergies? Well, if you're like most families, you'd probably pay any, almost any price. $300, $500, $1,000 to, to help protect your family, and a lot of people spend a heck of a lot more. In fact, there's a company out there that has a new machine that uh, for $1,000 would, would clean, cleanse a room. Of course, it's a hundred, excuse me, it's not a thousand dollars, it's a hundred thousand dollars. And you can't be in the room when it, when it does that. Anyway, so what would you do to help protect your family from those things that are floating around in the air? How about just changing the light bulb in your house? A few of them, perhaps in your kitchen or in your bathroom, or if you like, maybe the entire house. I'd like to introduce to you a, a brand new product that's been in development for almost 10 years now. And what it is, it's a, it's a new technology. It has two new patents on it, and we just applied for a third patent on it. But, you know, it's really not a new technology. It's actually been out in nature for thousands, perhaps millions of years. You ever wonder why uh, we're not swimming in smoke and chemicals and pollutions and things along this line? That's because nature has a way of getting rid of all that kind of stuff. What this group that I've been working with has been doing has been taking that, that technology that nature uses and we've been put, being able to put it on a light bulb. And so all you would really have to do, I'm going to put Eli down here. Oh, there you go. Thanks, big guy. And all you have to do to, to, to take care of that would be something very simple like change your light bulb. Let me show you how easy it is. Just, it's hot. Take that out, put this in. Now this happens to be an LED bulb. We also have uh, compact fluorescent bulbs. And we also have, you know, commercial. Here's a four foot, uh, uh, one and a half inch, 40 watt kind of commercial bulb. We also now can manufacture the, the 32 watt, 48 inch bulbs. Okay. But all you have to do is replace the light. Now, if you'll notice, This bulb here consumed 100, ooh, ah, consumed 100 watts. This is, consumes 8.7 watts. If you'll notice the color difference between them, this one is a very, very bright bulb. In fact, you would normally pay maybe $35 or $50 for this kind of bulb because it's the same color as those that they use to help people overcome the blues. You know, when you're in the winter uh, and, and you're in the house all winter long and it always seems to be dark. Okay, these are the kind of light bulbs that brighten the house up and, uh, and, and kind of chase those blues away. So they're very, very nice and very, very bright. And so you'll notice the color difference. I don't know if you can see this on the camera. This almost appears now to be yellow, this incandescent bulb. Now you would expect these kind of bulbs to maybe cost, you know, $20, $50, maybe even $100. Instead, they only cost a little bit more than your normal everyday light bulb. And so what we would encourage you to take a consideration that next time you're worried about your family's health, uh, about the stuff that's floating in the air, you read the newspaper, or you would like to have an allergy-free house, or you'd like to have just a brighter house, then instead of just going down to your local store and buying a, a regular ordinary light bulb, spend a couple of bucks more and buy one of our light bulbs. This is an antibacterial, anti-pollution, and anti-fungal light bulb. And the neat thing about it is, it also gets rid of allergens, pollen and other things that are floating in the air. And it's just as simple as just changing a few light bulbs in your house. Hey, this is Roger Young. Take care. Talk to you later. Hi, Roger Young. 
hey, we just finished shooting a commercial and we just replaced this light bulb. And so what I want to do right now is take a little bit of time and do a, a little demonstration, an experiment here on this kitchen counter. Now, I have to tell you that uh, uh, I was just informed that um, before we came that she cleansed this first with a vinegar solution and then with some Clorox wipes here. This light bulb. So we're going to do a little experiment here. We'll do a little demonstration. All right. So we talk about these things that are, you know, there's bacteria and viruses and mold and fungi that are floating around the air. Well, let me introduce you to a little friend of mine. Okay. This is a System Sure Plus. It is a device that health departments and other organizations and hospitals use to determine the bacteria count on their counters and the surfaces or in the hospital operating room. Okay. It's quick and it's easy. It only costs about $1,500. And so let me show you what's floating around here. So what you do is you take one of these nice little swabs like this, okay? You take it out of this little package and you swab the area. You put it back in the container. You break the little vial of liquid up here and you squeeze it on down and you shake it up and you drop it in the machine and you push the button here and in 15 seconds it'll tell you a bacteria count here now so you know 10 is great if you have 10 to 30 you're in the very cautionary store uh, the area if you're a uh, over 30 then you're in dangerous zone huh. if you're over 100 you're in a, a, a bad zone this is 1,179. Actually, that's quite common. I've done up in Colorado, here I'm in Idaho, and that's, that I've, I've done counters where there are 2,000 to 3,000, okay? In fact, I find some toilets, toilet seats better than that, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We've just replaced this light bulb. We're gonna replace this light bulb as well, and we're gonna replace a few more of these other lights that are here around in the kitchen. So we have the whole kitchen. And what we're going to do is that we're going to mark off a little section here in the, in the kitchen, on the counter, if I can find the, there it is. Okay, now we're going to do a couple things. I put some, ah, here they are. You know, remember though in, in elementary school or maybe junior high or even high school where they took the old petri dish and said here's what's floating around in the floating around in the air well here's our petri dishes and remember what all you did was you uncovered it and you laid it out so we're going to cover that lay it out and leave it out here for about a, a, an hour and then we'll cover it back up and then we'll take that and put it in the uh, incubator about 90 degrees for about two two days and let the things that is collected on that grow meanwhile in th this section here we're going to use one of our new products we just came out with it okay comes in a nice little box like this and it's a kitchen and bathroom counter wipe now the light should reduce considerably reduce the amount of bacteria that's on the surfaces around you because the it's not floating around in the air anymore. Uh, you, we try to go for a goal of about half. But if we want to get it down so that on this example, on this counter, that'll only be 500. But that's not really, that's great. That's much improved, but it's not as much as we want. So we have another product called a counter wipe. And we'll, we'll show you how it comes, a complete little kit, a nice little white box. And what it is is a there's a little system that you can put on, you can apply yourself. And here's what you do. Here's a, it comes with a little cleaning cloth it's with a, the specialized cleaning solution. And you just clean this area, clean the area. We're going to do it right here. We dry it off with a clean rag. That will also come in the kit. So we start clean. Now, in the kit, we have part of our patented product here.
and it comes on a pre-soaked little cloth and you just wipe it on. Now I'm going to do this section right here, just this little section right here. Now when you, you apply it, it's, it, it should last about a year. If we came and sent an application team to your house and applied it to you here, in which we, we have teams that who, do, who do that, it would last 10 years. Now, when this dries, and it takes about, uh, about an hour or two to dry, and then we should leave it alone for about 24 hours. Or we could speed up the process by using a, uh, uh, a hair dryer, a blow dryer on it, and kind of get it dry that way. And what this will do is, this is the same stuff that's on the light bulbs now is on the counter. And so as bacteria floats around or funguses or, or other things along this line land here, the same photocatalytic process kills the bacteria as it lands here. So the counters now, where you, know, where you put your sandwiches, where you cut up your, your, uh, uh, your apples and your oranges and do all that kind of stuff and prepare your meals, now will come with a count of around uh, under 10 definitely under 30. Okay, so we're going to come back in a few days and compare what this with the wipe on and here what it is. Now hopefully this area that here as we've replaced these light bulbs in, in a few days will be, you know, 300, 400, 500 or less, half of what it was before. And this area here should be somewhere around perhaps uh, 20 or 30, maybe even under 10. So we'll come back in a little bit and we'll also expose a, another Petri dish you know, after we've been cleaning the air for a little bit and for another hour and do another test on that. Anyway, we'll see you back here in, in about three days. Talk to you later. Hi, Roger Young. Hey, uh, I'm back. It's been uh, five days to the we were, you know, to the, to almost to the hour that uh, we were here last time. If you remember, uh, we had this counter, and she had cleaned it with um, uh, 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 vinegar and then uh, a bleach uh, wipes and stuff along this line, and we had a, a count of over 1,100. And so we put two light bulbs in. It's interesting here. She's bought, uh, she came over and bought a whole bunch of light bulbs, but her husband still hasn't replaced any of these in, in, in here yet. And uh, we left open a, uh, a, uh, a Petri dish right over here, if you remember during the commercial. And it was open for about a half an hour or so. And if you look in here, I don't know if you can see this, uh, we have uh, yellow stuff and uh, brown stuff and some orange stuff. And there's some little black stuff and some creamy stuff along the slide. This is the stuff that was floating in the air, landing on our counter, and we just put it in a open up the petri dish and let things gather on that and let it incubate a little bit and that's the kind of stuff that's that's on most counters along this line uh, we got some black stuff we'll see if we can put this under a microscope a little bit later and look at some of the stuff underneath the microscope uh, it'll be kind of fun anyway but uh, we're gonna right now if you remember we we put the counter wipe here uh, the counter bathroom wipes right here and we just left this alone and I asked you specifically not to to clean anything, not to do anything, and, and so I see there's a jam here and a little, I'm not sure what that is right there, so, you know, still uh, in regular dirty, this is where they cook the food and, you know, the kids bring their, their stuff in here and take care of everything, and so what we're going to do is do a, a swab test to see kind of where we're at and see if we, we're looking to a, a good improvement here, okay? So I'm going to put in a a brand new one here. So let's do the swap test. Try to avoid the, uh, the strawberry jam here. Looks like strawberry anyway. Shake it up, put it in, push the button. Now, <clears throat> we were 1100 and something last time. And what we're looking for is reduction of at least by half. You know, anything under 500 we, we think is, would be really great. And these lights, the longer these lights are on, uh, the better it would be. Hopefully we'll be under 500. We shall see. 
if we can do that, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're at 239. That's terrific. That's a, that's a reduction from 1,100 down to 239 uh, on the stuff, uh, even despite all the, 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 the jelly and the jam, stuff like that. So let's try now where, the, um, where the, um, we put the, the counter, the bathroom and counter wipes at, right here. We would love anything under 50. Uh, it's, anything under 30 is terrific. And anything under 10 is, is wonderful. Just marvelous. Um, very hard to get uh, under 10. We're at 42. Okay? So that's really great. That we're in, we're in, in good shape. The longer we leave these lights on here, the more that would uh, actually improve. So 42 is in, is in really good shape. Uh, getting down there. Remember, we went from 1100 down to 42. Okay, and we went from 1100 just with the light bulbs down to about oh, about 200. But with the the counter wipes, we're down to 42, which is in the almost into the accept really acceptable range. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye bye.